Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the color of your mobile menu icon on mobile devices only. So here's an example of what we're going to be pulling off in this tutorial. As you can see, we're on desktop, scaling down to like a tablet, and I have it where the mobile icon is going to switch on tablet, so I wanted to keep that on white. And then I wanted to have it where on mobile, you're going to see right here, I wanted it to switch to this darker color and bump it up here. So if you have a situation where you're using like a transparent header and you need to do this type of effect, you're going to need to do this with one little line of CSS code because by default, Elementor doesn't allow you to change the colors of the mobile icon on each device. So let's just jump into the back end and show you how easy it is to change the color of this icon only on mobile. Here we are on the back end of that page. And as you can see, I just have a really simple uh, section right here a large image of us and I just did a negative margin of like 122 so that's gonna bump it up so we can have this transparent header right here so now if I jump into this header template you can see that by default we have it where the background is transparent and we have the white logo here and then this is the navigation so if we jump into the navigation you're gonna see I have the breakpoint at tablet so it's gonna switch over to that little mobile icon and then if you go underneath the toggle button this is where the problem is, is you can only change the color uh, for all the devices. So they don't have like a responsive tab right here. So you can't, you know, like switch it to a different color if you're on uh, mobile, for example. So that's why you're going to have to add one little line of CSS code. So now I'm going to jump into the mobile and show you how easy it is to set up. So underneath advanced, uh, what I like to do is make sure that you just give it a unique CSS class. So I just call this like menu toggle. And then you go underneath your custom CSS, and then this is the one line of code you need to drop in. And as you can see, the CSS code's pretty simple. We're just saying target this class, which is the menu toggle, and then you wanna make sure it says div. And then we're gonna do color 333, which is like this darker color. And in most cases, you're probably gonna have to throw on the important. So this overrides Elementor's uh, white color right here. And if you aren't familiar with what this part is right here, a few versions ago, Elementor added it where it's adding this unique class called mobile or tablet into the body itself. So it makes it really easy to target if you're on a mobile device or you know the extra breakpoints up here, you just call it what it is. So tablet, desktop, you just change it right here. Um, this is a much better approach because you don't have to worry about meta queries and doing all the different pixels and the mins and the maxes and all that. This makes it so much easier. So if you're kind of new to this and you've been doing the old school like meta queries, you can stop using that and just jump onto this and it's going to make your life so much easier. And that's it. Once you add that, you just hit update. And then now on the front end of the page, if you just go and you scale down, it will automatically, of course, change to this black color. And if you scale back up, it will go back into the white. And that's it for this really simple tutorial. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. This is Mark from Wiki Design.